So go ahead and enjoy women's sports like you would any other <laughs> sports because they are sports. Yes. Except you, Harrison Butker. We don't need you. At all. Like ever. Serena Williams calling out Harrison Butker on live TV at the 2024 ESPY Awards after the Kansas City Chiefs kicker's controversial message to women. And embrace one of the most important titles of all, Homemaker. All right, y'all, it is almost showtime. How does she feel going into the night? Look, it's not the same as the Grand Slam final, but it's close. What? It's close. I think, you know, she is a star on the court, off the court. The tennis icon's proud husband, Alexis Ohanian, showing his support ahead of her ESPY's hosting debut. Ladies, please don't say. <laughs> um, it's an honor to be here with both of you. We know. We know. <laughs> and it's amazing that we are all equal height. <laughs> Tell me a secret about this look. I almost wore something a little bit more playful that looked like a tennis ball, no. but I decided to go this route, and I'm really happy I did. Abbott Elementary's Quinta Brunson and Serena's sister Venus stepping on stage. The powerhouse trio celebrating the recent fandom explosion of female athletes. And the ESPYs wouldn't be complete without discussing the huge year in women's sports. Because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. That's just one of Harrison's comments from his commencement address at Benedictine College. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it. The commencement speech was two months ago, not long enough for Serena to forget. Harrison spotted on the ESPY's red carpet ahead of the ceremony, but it's unclear if he was in his seat when the 23-time Grand Slam champ said this. So go ahead and enjoy women's sports like you would any other sports because they are sports. Yes. Except you, Harrison Butker, we don't need you. Nope, the cameras never cut to Harrison, who in the aftermath of his comments only faced minor backlash from his teammates. There are certain things that he said that I, I don't necessarily agree with, but I understand the person that he is, and he's trying to do whatever he can to, to lead people in the right direction. And I think we just like going out there and, and winning together. As my teammate's girlfriend says, familiarity breeds contempt. Travis Kelsey not mentioning the reference to girlfriend Taylor Swift while addressing Harrison's comments on New Heights. I can't say I agree with the majority of it or just about any of it outside of just um, him loving his family and his kids. And I don't think that I should judge him by his views, especially his religious views uh, of, of how to go about life. That's just not who I am. But as for another all-star athlete. We don't need you. 